My name is Jim Cronin. I'm an organic market gardener from County Clare. And the other aspect of me is that I actually train people to be market gardeners, to grow organically, and to make a living from this business. But I've been invited because I suppose I've been involved in this industry for a lot of years. I'm actually one of the people that's, that I've decided, okay, we've got to do something about this and we've got to get new young people into this industry. It's a fantastic way of life. The challenges facing us is, well, firstly, the price we're being paid for our produce. The second thing is that we need new young blood. And thirdly, we need training and education for these people when they do enter the business and the trade. There's really no foundation training in organic vegetable growing in Ireland. So it's, there's a series of workshops and there's various people doing work and doing good work but there's no core driving force behind it, and that's what's badly needed. So look at me, <laughs> 50 years later, I'm 66 years of age, and I've been selling produce for 50 years. You won't become a millionaire, but you will have the most interesting career you could ever imagine. Now I've been evolving and developing. It is not old fashioned and it's not with rusty hose. It's a real innovative, very fast forward learning industry that's going on in the other parts of the world. We are conservative as a group of people, that's who we are and that's the nature of us but at the same time we need to take on these new ideas like cover crops, soil health, various different types of machinery, different ways of marketing. The future of the industry looks like actually small scale local producers. That's primarily what it looks like. And also what it looks like is the customer really getting this product and getting behind it from a social and an economic and an environmental point of view. For me, growing food was like seeing it through a child's eyes because I'd never, I never knew how vegetables were brought to the table. So when you grow something, I can't even begin to explain how much more you appreciate it. It's all wonderful when the sun is shining, but when it's snowing, you have to have passion and you have to have love and you've got to have grit because when your fingers are freezing, unless you've got that love, passion and determination, it can be really, really tough. But I think when you find that thing in life that you love, it all of that just disappears. We think it's important to shine a light on the sector because the disconnect between farming and where food comes from is now so massive. And, and I tell the story of the little girl who was here in her school tour, standing in front of the chickens, asking, can you, can you cook that? In terms of what we're growing here on the estate from a horticulture point of view, the fact that people don't even get to see it, that going on, it's now really rare. And for most people, coming to Airfield will be the only farm they'll ever know.